Okay, to install Kodachi Linux in a virtual machine, go to sourceforge.net slash projects slash Linux Kodachi, then save the ISO image. When it's done, you can close the browser window and then start VMware. Okay, click create a new virtual machine. Then use ISO image, click browse and double click on the ISO you downloaded, then click next. Then check Linux and version Ubuntu 64-bit, then click next. Now give your virtual machine a name and click next. Select a maximum disk size and collect and click next. Make sure you have four gigabytes and then click finish. Then click close. Okay, on the first boot up, make sure you have Kodachi Legacy Live highlighted and then hit enter or let the timer run out. Okay, when it comes up, double click the install Kodachi offline desktop icon. And you'll see in the upper right corner a pop-up that says offline installation will start shortly. Okay, in the install window, select your language and then click continue. Select your keyboard layout and click continue. Then check install third party software and click continue. Then check erase disk and then check encrypt the new Linux installation and use LVM Then click install now. Now you're going to enter an encryption password. And you'll do this every time you boot your system to unlock your encrypted drive. Then check overwrite empty disk space. Then click install now. On the next pop-up, click continue. Then select your time zone and click continue. Okay, leave the default for your name, your computer's name, and pick a username. Then enter a login password. And then you can check login automatically or require my password to log in. Then click continue. Okay, when the install is done, click Restart Now. Okay, make sure Ubuntu is highlighted and then hit Enter. Okay, enter your encryption password to unlock the disk. Then you should get the setup successfully message. And then when you log back in, you'll get the completing installation window. And in the window it says Kodachi will shut down in 30 seconds to finalize the installation.
Okay, next, go back to VMware Workstation and edit the virtual machine settings. Then click the CD icon and then select use a physical drive so that the ISO image is not connected anymore. And then click save. And then power on. Make sure Kodachi is highlighted and then press enter. Then enter your encryption password. Okay, we're back up. Go to Extra Tools and click on Enable OS System Nuke. Go to the terminal window, and the question is, is the selected device SDA5 correct? And if you go to SDA5, you can see that that's my 20 gigabyte drive I selected for Kodachi. So type yes, and then enter. Then press any key, and press any key. Okay, now we're going to create a password that we can use to disable the nuke system in the future. So press any key, enter a password, re-enter the password, then press any key. Okay, now we're gonna be asked to enter a secret nuke password that if we use it, it will trigger the destruction of Kodachi if you are forced to reveal your data. So press any key, enter your current encryption password. Now enter a passphrase to destroy Kodachi. Re-enter the password. Okay, from now on during the boot up time, you'll use your normal password that you have set up on Kodachi installation process. But if you are forced to open Kodachi, then use the nuke password you have just set and Kodachi will be destroyed. Press any key to continue. Okay, you can close this window. Kodachi is now set up and running. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.